Elijah, look at me, honey. Look at this child's hair. Oh my goodness, it's crazy. <laughs> we are at the farmer's market. Today is Saturday, April 21, 2012, and just kind of curious to see what I can find at Grand Rapids, Michigan Farmer's Market in April. So, we, what are you doing? I'll try to look at the time. So, we are going to go and see what we can find at oh, the farmer's market. How are you? Doing great. Thank you. How are you? Good. So, we're just sorting them. Asparagus, look at that. Look how bad it is. It's how much, delicious today. How much is that per pound? Uh, Three dollars per pound. Give me a pound of that. Alright. We haven't tried the purple kind yet. It's very good. Yeah, it's nice and creamy. It's really good. Creamy. How much is the spinach? Uh, fifty a basket. Really? Same with the kale as well. This is all grown outside right now? Yeah. I'm growing in Allendale. Two baskets of spinach, too. Two baskets of spinach? Mm -hmm. All right. We got a spinach salad. Yes. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. gonna have to it up. Hey, how's it going? Hey, lady. It's been a while since I've seen you. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Oh, it's olive oil. Are you filming your trip? A little bit, yep. That's from Portugal. Wow. San Hot Family's producer, 1738 forward, seven dollars a bottle. The cheese is from Lakeview, grass-fed cows, hormone-free, antibiotic-free. Yep, we've had that cheese. We had the raw cheddar, very uh, good. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite, in addition to the smoked cheddar and the olive. I don't need cheese today, but we'll be back. Very Thank good. you, Quincy Hart. Thank you. She's got apple cider. They would like that. So cool. Booties. Yes. Go with it. Yes. Decorated fork. Mm -hmm. Come on, sweetheart. You're not going to get Isaiah any more. You can. Oh, flowers. Oh, flowers too. Oh, he's got herbs. How are you? Hi. Hi. This is cilantro. Did you see it? Oh, yeah. Is there anything else that you recommend? There's sage on there. Look at the mint. Chocolate mint. Do you? Chocolate. Let's see what's over here. Can I say hi? Let's see. What? All right. We will see. Here's the tree guy. Let's see. How are you? Banana bread. Banana bread? It was carrot bread that you guys oh, liked yeah. so much. <laughs> Cinnamon bread? It was me and you, Mom. Blueberry plants. Ooh, these will start to bloom soon. Will they? Uh-huh. Will these the stay in the pot, in pots okay? Like if I put it in a bigger pot? Well, they should go in the ground. I think these will get their short bush, you know, low bush, with about this high in about three years or so. They should bear in three years. Oh, okay. But if you want to keep them for a while like this, you can keep them in this pot probably until fall. Will we rent so we can't put it in the ground? Oh, so maybe okay. we'll have to wait. Well, you know, it might work if you put it in a good pot. I don't know. Hmm. Never thought about it. they got to have the right soil, too. It's got to be sour. I forget what the pH is, but it's not much. Maybe we'll research it. Look at this little booty there. See it? Little plants? Yeah, anything up here is a dollar. Dollar. You see the cilantro we like? I brought two gallons this time around and they only use a half a gallon quarter. Look at they have raw milk here. I know, I was just saying. Look at their cilantro, it's huge. 
are you guys today? Good, how are you? Good, what can I do for you? We're just looking around, see Colors what we can are find. $2, a three for five. Hi, we thank got you. Oregano and sage and thyme and chives and cilantro, parsley, dill, rosemary, and basil. We might have to get a basil. Can you do two of one kind and one of another kind? Yep. Two three for five? Yeah. Yep. Look at sure the can. tomato plants you like. Oh, there's a flower. Hazel looks good too. Radishes. Mix and match everything so you could take. Look at this. There's like a little bit of everything in that's there. That's a that's a herb garden. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Lots of flowers. Green garlic. Is it all garlic green? Yeah. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. Is this wheatgrass? Yeah, wheatgrass and green garlic. Are you familiar with green garlic? No. It's uh, it's just young garlic. So essentially, we uh, we pull it early, um, and it's uh, it, before it starts to bulb up. And when we plant it in the fall, it's smaller cloves. So if we would let them bulb up, it would be tiny bulbs. So it's better to actually harvest them like this. And it's only this time of year that you can get it. So um, probably the next two weeks. That's it. Where? Oh, you're a Green Mega Farm. You said you have CSAs. CSAs, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, are you interested? Yes, a little bit. Mm -hmm. This is our sign-up sheet. And uh, you can just fill it out and mail it in or, or uh, email it to us as well. We have an online... Um, uh, form that you can fill out. Do you know if you grow wheatgrass really long, does it does it end up like having seeds? Yeah, you can. I mean, you can grow it the full wheat if you want, but uh, people normally just uh, cut it down because it's sweeter this way. But yeah, like like anything else, you can. Uh, How much will this get you? It probably won't get you even a half an ounce if you uh, juice it, will it? I'm not sure. Yeah, this is our first uh, our first time growing it, so I've yet to actually use it myself, but it go through two or three cuttings. I know that much. <laughs> mm. I can take this with me? Of course. Thank you. For you. We will come back. Thank you so much. Uh, of course. Thanks. You guys have a great day. You too. Thank you. Now let's go. Now let's go. Let's see what they have over here. We just take a look really quick. Just honey. Look at the honeycomb thing. Your brother likes those. We'll have to take him next time. Look at the little tiny honey jar. How are you? Good. Good. Two. This is enough for one of your waffles. This is a cool case. Mm -hmm. So we didn't find a whole lot. We got a pound of asparagus, different colors, for $3. And then we got huge amount of spinach for three dollars and then I went back we we're almost ready to leave and got another three dollars worth of my spinach today anyways but that's a pretty big amount I think that I got more than I would have got at the store for six dollars so it's probably definitely well over a pound and it's homegrown and it's fresh and it's gonna make wonderful smoothies and salads so I'm really excited about the spinach and now we're off to sell my books at the college and check out what my brother's up to and go rent a flute for Eli because he's interested in possibly playing the flute. He plays the violin now. And so we're going to do all those errands. We stopped by the music store and rented Eli a flute because he's really interested in playing it for next year. So we want to see how he likes it. So he's really excited to play with it and see what he thinks. So he's just been practicing. What makes you want to play the flute, sweetheart? Because it's a really beautiful sound. It is. And you started playing the violin this year. You've been playing for about, what, six months or so on your violin? Mm -hmm. And that's going well. So we did that and now we're off to our next destination. Home. So I just wanted to share with you guys a little tip that I I have been doing for myself. I just leaving Subway. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's in a gas station. But anyways, I picked up, I just called ahead of time and I picked up a pickle bucket. It's just a pickle bucket, white pickle bucket, um, 4.25 gallons. 
And I actually, I made my water filter out of one like this. I'll show you guys eventually, but I'm not gonna open it. But what I do with this is I'm, I, they're free. You just call ahead and I am going to do a container garden with these buckets. They're food grade, so they're fine and it saves a lot of money. And so, yep, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I am going to start my container garden. So I've just been picking them up here and there. I've probably got about six now. And uh, <laughs> what are you doing? He's in there practicing. I can't see him. Anyways, he's in there practicing his flute. But yeah, so if you're interested in container gardening at all, like I rent, so I can't really have anything in the ground. Um, just pick up, pick up the uh, the buckets from Subway, and I uh, plant tomatoes, even upside down. Um, last year I planted one in there. I just drilled a hole in the bottom and I planted my tomatoes upside down. Free works good, food grade. So. Now I think my next stop is home. <laughs>